Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to episode 48. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. It's time for Sunday Fun Day, your favorite part of Father's Day. What's going on, gentlemen? I'm joined by my man, Duco Ted, the cap, and of course, Ali, the watch Sasquatch, a.k.a. Squatch Box. I don't know what his moniker is today. It's blocked by my little uh, writing there. But uh, what's going on, fellas? How's it going today? Going Tired. good. Going good. Good day, but long day. Yeah. Imagine I'm to unwind and relax end of the day. What do we have on the wrist, gentlemen? What's on the Father's Day wrist today? There you go. We have the reservoir. We have the root beer. We got the sub and a little day date. There we go. Beautiful. Take your pictures now, gents. <laughs> nice, nice. Let's see. What do we got going on in the chat real quick, and then we'll get this going. We have our man quicker than drawing in the house saying, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, and have a good show. Thanks, quick. And, yes, everyone, I hope you had a great Father's Day. We have no fold in the house. We got Big Juan up in the house saying, what's up, guys? Happy Father's Day. We got Kelvin here, member of the crew. Enjoy, gentlemen. Finish my break. We'll catch the replay. Sounds good, man. Got Jeff Lane in the house, upvoted. We've got Logan Hall saying happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Dictor, uh, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Dr. TikTok tuning in from Florida. Welcome, welcome. We got Louis V in the house. We got our man, Tuco Ted, who's joining us today, uh, telling everyone to upvote. There we go. We are caught up, gents. So, we got a good show for you today. We have a live hand, hands on unboxing, Rolex unboxing. Right? I think it says that in the title. Yes. I gave away a little clue. A Rolex unboxing. I don't even know if I should say Did I say yet who, who has the unboxing or did I not? I don't think I, I don't have. have. Who is it? Just leave it as a little teaser. I'll give you a hint, boys. It's not me. It's not me. I still, he, may, he may not even be on stream yet, so you never know. But we will be having an unboxing for you shortly. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how the weather treats us. What do we got? We got Marco here saying, man, I went comatose. Too much steak and barbecue chicken. We'll be on in five minutes. Okay, sounds good. Oh, we have oh man, Jason in the house, aka Design Atelier. Oh, my screen went dead, but there it is. Okay. <laughs> Doing a little drawing for us. Always awesome. nice to see Jason with his drawing. What's going on? Can, you can hear us okay? Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Uh, oh, I see the outline of a of a basketball. Mm -mm. It's a championship trophy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Nice. We'll have, to, we'll have to stay tuned to the end of the episode or until he's done and see what see what we got. We got Maynard in the house saying good evening, gents, and we have our first super chat of the evening. Starting us off is of course our man Sean Off with a ten dollars super chat saying. My boys have been waiting for this for Father's Day. They would love a shout out. Please give a big hello to Dean and Joseph and tell them to go to bed now. Dean and Joseph, your dad is a cool man. He hangs out with us and has a good time. I hope you guys are treating him good for Father's Day. And unfortunately, it's time to go to sleep, fellas. Time for bed. But thanks for joining us. All right, that's Dean and Joseph. That's a new service yeah. provided by Gentleman's Hangout. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gentleman's go to bed now. Dean service. and Joseph, go to bed. Yeah, exactly. Listen to your father. He's a good man. Yeah, it's Father's Day. You know, don't give him a hard time. He wants to re he wants to relax now. You know, I hope he's had a good day. Time to uh, go to sleep. But thanks for watching, guys. Showing up's the man. He's funny. Uh, uh, I should. He's right. No fold brings up a good point. I should get a sound effect to pull it up. Sound effect. That'd be pretty fun. Pull it up. Pull it up. I gotta get a good sample. You don't have <laughs> one of those boards. I do. I do. I. I don't have that on there. Um, Burb has the best ones. Burbing Hot has. Yeah. Every, all the screen captures. I got. I got to figure out how to do that. Yeah, he spent some time with that thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Because that, that takes a while to get like good sound. Um, it doesn't always come out great. Like the ones I have are built into my stream deck, so they sound much better than the, uh, you know, than the ones that you record. I tried to record record one; it's a little bit low. But um, 
yeah, Burb has some really good ones. <laughs> Hope that worked for you, Sean. I hope hopefully they're uh, going to sleep soon. So let's see, what do we got? Oh, we have Marco joining us from his slumber. Good morning, Marco. Jesus Christ, guys, I went completely out of it for like three hours. I was finished. All right. Hello, John. I, I, I took a little nap myself. I was, uh, I think everybody was tired today. Long day for everyone. We have a $5 super chat from our man Toyota Mo saying, Happy Sunday, Fun Day, Father's Edition. That's right. Fathers and, fathers and sons edition, I'll say, because some of us, some of us are, uh, you know, we're still kid free at the moment. But Marco, <coughs> you still kid free? Uh, thankfully, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got we got to let uh, Roman know if he needs to take out any uh, payments from your check. You know, that's right. Yeah. Every every two weeks. <laughs> oh, that's funny stuff. So, uh, yeah, the topic of the day was best watch for Father's Day. And it's funny because I made that title, obviously, you know, it's Father's Day. And I was just thinking, you know, I mean, there wasn't much to it. I was saying, what's a, what's a great watch for Father's Day, like, that you would wear during an, the occasion or maybe, like, you know, give your dad. And I was thinking to when uh, one of a group of friends, there was three brothers and sisters, right? They wanted to buy their dad a watch. I think I've actually told this story. Uh, we were talking about like how we had so many Rolex in the collection and how you kind of take it for granted. And like one was like a lifetime achievement award. And basically he wanted one his whole life and they all chipped in and bought him like uh, a date just on the secondary market. And uh, they bought him like a coat or something. Right. And they put it in the pocket like to surprise him. And they gave him the coat. It was like, a, you know, a Father's Day gift or like when, it was the right after he retired. And uh, you could see in his face, like, he was like, kind of like, you know, this is, you know, because it was like a big, you know, they did like a nice party for him. And he's like, oh, you know, but he didn't say anything. He's like, oh, thank you. He's like, you know, happy puts it on. But you could see in his face, he was kind of like confused a little bit. Like, why, a coat? That's what you all gave me, you know? And uh, he put his hand in the pocket and he pulled it out. And there was a date just in there. And he was so happy. He was like tearing up and everything. And um, it made me think, like, I, th I think that type of watch for a casual collector or like, you know, any normal like dad out there. I think three handers might be the way to go. Yeah. Um, I kind of, I kind of think for Father's Day, uh, maybe not. Um, I, I, I mean, let's not just say just three handers, but any type of kind of uh, versatile watch, like a date just, you know, where you could wear it for all occasions, like almost like a one and done, you know, even if it's like an explorer uh, or um, I don't know, try the Vacheron three hand if you want to go higher in price or if you want to go lower in price. I, I think those type of versatile watches, maybe something like a Milgauss, are kind of the way to go. I don't know what you guys think about that, but I, I like trying to use the little thought experiment sometimes. And you know, uh, I think the 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 Oyster Perpetual, the Date Just, the Day Date, those are all fair. I don't know if I would consider the Milgauss the same, um, mm -hmm. but those three would all be fair uh i gave my father the no date which wasn't planned it, like if i had set out to buy one it would have been probably a day date or day just it was just right. something that kind of fell on my lap um so yeah no no i think that's a good call a nice three-hander something uh, easy to set easy yeah. to wear versatile you know uh, maybe yeah maybe not like a mill gauss unless you you know like you know your dad's style he's kind of like a quirky guy or something like no, that it depends or... on the age too right like our fathers with the exception of marco's father probably is um are a little bit older at this point right, right. marco's father's still in high school or whatever so <laughs> marco's father you get him a moon swatch and he's like holy shit um, even a speedmaster right would be a good watch i think I a think speedy would work a I think, yeah, yeah speedmaster yeah. could work i think there's also so like I don't know, for example, right, like my, my mom and my aunt had gifted my grandfather um, like a Tissot, I forget what the name is, you know, it has like a day date. Um, I think oh, it's the gentleman or something like that it's called, right? It's like a Vizzo date or something like that. I, I don't I don't okay. remember exactly the name, but yeah, something like that, like, you know, like older gentlemen love like Tissot, like just watches on Mother Shop, just like mm. time only date, maybe a day competition, but that was it, you know? So yeah, that those kind of watches I think are, are the ones like you definitely should get for Father's Day for sure. Yeah, I think anything that your wife and kids or whoever buys for you is, you know, a great gift. 
I think we get we get a little jaded because we're like into the really high level watches. Right. And, you know, like I give you an example, I, my mother, uh, she really liked one of my wife's watches and it was actually my wife's very first watch. It was a real watch a Tissot Lady. I think it was called a 34 mil. And my mom was like, oh, that's what I want. That's, you know, around that price range. And um, I ended up getting online and buying it for her. It was like 600 bucks. And she's like ecstatic over the moon over this, you know, her first, she's 65 years old and she's never had an automatic watch. Oh, that's crazy. Six, isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Now, we I got a it. super chat from our man, SLC Watch Collector. Speaking of uh, Father's Day watches, he wants a wrist check. So let's give it to him. I'm actually going to, you know, we're going to give him some value for money here. I'm going to go one at a time. We got Marco is wearing his bag girl. He takes it away as soon as I make him big. <laughs> uh, Jason, I don't know if he's wearing a watch. It looks like he is not there at the moment. We can check back with him. We got Cap. What do we got on the wrist today, Cap? We got the root beer. Beautiful. Right, Ali, what do we got? The reservoir. Now, what model reservoir is that? Just in case anybody's curious. Cause the GT Tour. GT Tour. There you go, guys. A little something different for the panel. And then we got our man, Dubo Ted, has the OG Rolex sub. And that's a and Tudor the, sub. Sorry. Well, Tudor sub. I'm sorry. I said Rolex sub before. Ah. A, little, a little tough to catch. Uh, yeah. There we go. There oh, we go. yeah. That's a beautiful almost, watch. Almost, I remember you got that recently, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, Marco found it for me. Nice, nice. And I am wearing the day day today. I'm still wearing it. Well, I took it out yesterday. I had to go to a graduation party. Oh, so. we have Jason's got it. Got his watch on. Oh, hold on, Jason. One second. He wasn't wearing one before, so he had to go quickly. Wardrobe <laughs> 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 change. Is that a normal? Thumbs up, Jason. Give us a thumbs up. Oh, that is too far. You know what that is, Marco? The no more? It's a Budo X. He has a oh, Budo X. Uh, oh, there it is. Budo X. It says it right there. Oh, oh yeah. thank you, Jason. Very nice. Very nice. Mm, very cool. And we have a member chat from uh, Big George. Big George in the house, five month uh, member saying, My Father's Day watch is a moon swatch. Great panel. Thank you, George. <laughs> Greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, that, that's a cool watch for a younger dad, you know, like George, George's age, especially one in the hobby. It's a cool little watch to get. Like if you could, uh, if you could find one. Yeah, exactly. Sure that it makes it cooler this particular year, right? Right. That you're putting in all that effort to find it, right? Because they're a bitch to find. I think it's like it's also funny, right? So going back just quickly to Duco Ted's story, like my dad wears a Hugo Boss quartz chronograph, <laughs> and my grandfather wears like this Armani watch. <laughs> so it's like every time I see, you know, what they're wearing, I just cringe a little bit, but they're just, you know, they're just not into it. Not yeah, into they don't care. Stuff. Yeah. But they love, they both love them, you know. Mike David also used his 10-month uh, member chat to say, my wife was just hassling me that I don't wear the watch she bought me a few years back. I can't tell her why. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, here's what you got to do. If you, well, you don't want to lose it, so never mind. I don't want I was like, you got next vacation. You have to say you want to wear it on vacation and make it suddenly disappear. You know, you I don't nice know the story. What happened? <laughs> oh, oh wait, never mind. Sorry. What happened to it? Oh, oh yeah. no, no. JJ is making a joke that he needs to. You know, he needs. Oh, to lose it. I thought he really lost it, and you. No, he, no. He, oh. Yeah, I guess he's saying he don't want to wear it because it's probably not like the best watch. You know, I was saying he needs to wear it with her on the next vacation and. Suddenly lose it when he, you know, tipped the. I got you. I got you. Something. You know, I don't know what kind of watch it is. It might be too nice to do that, but we got BT Boss Man in the house, member of the crew, saying Happy Sunday, Fun Day, Father's Day edition. So, guys, what were you saying, Marco? I kind of stepped on your uh, story there, but no, no, I was just like, so like, oh, I got you. Yeah, we, yeah, we kind of yeah, got yeah. to the Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. A lot of casual. Like my father never. He used to go to you know what he used to do before like a party. He would go to like, um. I don't know, like Macy's or something, you know, like how you go to buy like a pair of pants, like he'd, uh, he'd go get a new shirt, like for a party or, you know, a, a tie, new tie and he'd buy like one of the things and like, he just didn't give a shit, you know, like, all right, what's the, give me this one. And it, by the time the next party, you'd probably lose it and you'd go buy another one, but he never wore a watch. He was, you know, Fair like, enough. Oh, I mean, only, gas station sunglasses look, look good enough for one of that, right? Yeah. I, I, I was always like the complete opposite, but, uh. 
you know, it's pretty funny. So, guys, we got to get some upvotes going for some unveiling. I forgot. I bought a little something as well. We have one of the guys who may or may not be on the panel yet has a, a mega Rolex unboxing, a new watches that have never been seen on the show before, live on the air for you guys. We're going to get to that. But before that, let's get to 25 upvotes, and I will show you the new watch I got this week. Some of you already might know what it is. Some of you might not. But let's get one level at a time. After we show that, then we'll get to the next one. In between that, let's just say hello to our man, Mr. GMT, who is giving us a $10 super chat. Thank you, Mr. GMT. Says, happy Father's Day to all the sexy fathers. There you go. GMT's specialty is sexy fathers, by the way, in case you don't know. <laughs> True. <laughs> I did not see that on his paid advertisement. <laughs> Oh, man. So, yeah, I mean, do you think you could get, like, in later in life, I think you could get, like, your dad, thinking now I'm thinking about this, into the hobby. You know, maybe, like, when they're, like, sort of, like, in that phase where they're retiring and they've worked and never really worn a watch, now they can just kind of relax and maybe they'll start wearing one. I don't know. I don't, because, I mean, I don't know how your old man uh, is but my old man, I got reprimanded by mom and dad for the expense, and it wasn't <laughs> even planned in my case, right? right. So, how did they find it. out? The well, the expense, yeah, because it says Rolex. Okay, <laughs> they didn't. They didn't even really know the true cost. They just knew it was a yeah, large. It was more cost. than a Timex. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like you know. Yeah. I think there's also part of it like they're kind of like older and a little more stuck in their ways, so you're never going to change them. You know what I mean? Like, trust me, I've really tried with my parents, and you know, there's just no way. Like, there's really no way. That they if you have go. really active parents too, like uh, one of my friends, his father is God. I this guy's going to live to be 120. Um, this guy gets out and plays golf no matter what the weather is, like constantly. So he's still into. He gets new golf clothes, new golf shoot shirts, new golf shorts, shoes, and you can get him into things because he's still active and he's still flirting with the cart girls at ninety three years old or however old he is, right? Like it's gonna vary, but I just got I got reprimanded first before I got a thank you and a hug and stuff like that. Yeah. Which is a very I would I would, thing I would think for him first. If he's think, inter- if he's into golf, he's gonna know about Rolex for sure. So right. a day trust would be, I mean, that's obviously a higher level, but your a day date or a day trust would be perfect. Your friend Mike upvoted. And speaking of sexy dads, here's Ari. Hello, Ari. How's it going? Hey, folks. Hey. Captain Coconut. Coconut. Captain Coconut. <laughs> I, I have to wear the specials for tonight. <laughs> this is one of my favorite features of the show. By the way, this happened totally organically. And I think this is the funniest. This is the best thing. Uh, this is one of my favorites. We have a $2 super chat from showing up saying, for Jason, thumbs up. There you go, Jason. You're making us cash with just the tip of your finger. Thank, thank you, Sean. I don't know why I find that so amusing, but I really love that one. Uh, SLC says, my dad just picked up a two-tone Belova from a grocery store, jewelers, and is in love. Never had worn a watch, and I can remember that I can remember, but picked it up after talking watches with me. That's awesome. See, that's what I was I was trying to see, too. Like, I don't know how that would go. I mean, unfortunately, you know, my dad is, hasn't been around in quite a, many years, but um, I would wonder, like, how that would work. Like, do you think you could get, like, you know, get your dad into the hobby kind of like, or would the common sense kick in and they would say, like, you're not going to spend money. That's what he's <laughs> a fairly young fellow, too, I think, or he's just aged real well. Who's that? So, SLC? Yeah. Or he's just uh, aged real well. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm sure having a hard time with Ari her. today. I'm looking at Ari and I see Princess Leia today. I don't know yeah. why. <laughs> Obi Wan, you're my only hope. Yes, I think exactly. it's just it's got to be the skincare routine. He looks at least as young as Carrie Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, Ari. One, you're my only yeah. hope. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I don't think I could get my dad into watches. Um, I'd have to dig him up. <laughs> I, I'm right there with you, man. I know. He's been dead for since I was 
uh, in my thirties, early thirties. Yeah. Oh, and by the but way, I'll try. On, I'll try. While, while we're on the topic, I just want to take a minute. I know this is Mr. DMT's first uh, Father's Day without his dad, so you know we're thinking of you, buddy. Um, just, very nice. Uh, very that nice. just very dawned nice. on me. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, same here. And my dad, basically, you know, he had he always wore a watch, but I think it was you know the Seikos, um, the Casios. I don't recall, but these are two watches. Two anyway. pocket watches that he had. So he was definitely a man wow. who wore watches, right? And they're they're nothing special. I think this one is a quartz, this Kronos, um, and this Colibri. Um, they work. I took them to uh, the local jeweler. You know, they put in a battery. I think in both of them. Um, but so this is back in the day. In yeah, the pocket, two watch. pocket watches. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Did he wear like? I'm not being sarcastic. I'm actually genuinely curious. Did he wear like a vest or something with those? I, I believe he did. Yeah, he was always right. interested. You know, he wore nice. You know, he always wore his suit to work and right. probably had it. You know, I was too young to remember when he had these uh, tucked away in his. You know, yeah, and they're both quartz and his three piece. Uh, I believe so. I believe so. I know at least one of them is. I mean, I never heard of these. You know, I never. You guys might know Chronos. Have you heard them? And Calibre no, no, isn't no. the same as the lighter company. Um, Colibri. Yeah, same as the lighter company. Bring yeah, it up. Yeah. Bring it up. Calibri Quartz. Yeah. There's some decoration on the inside of this thing. Oh, nice. What is that, Marco? Is that uh, <laughs> we were is that like, hammered? It's a pan it's hammered? A hammered? <laughs> and he had it engraved, too, with his initials on the back. So. <laughs> Pretty cool, but not, not expensive watches. He did not wear. He was not a Rolex man. Practical. Um, that is cool. I've always yeah, very wanted. A, I always want a pocket. I do want a pocket watch at some point, like some nice pocket watch. It would just. I could so picture you with the elbow pads and the and the pocket. But they're watch not watch. honestly walking around they're LB. Nice. You could have your name on it, Marco. Be nice if you're yeah, nice. If you're honestly, cards right. you would be shocked. Right? <laughs> you can get like a a chronograph pocket watch from like Vacheron or Pat. Not that expensive. Like we're talking like five, ten thousand. You know, like from a brand like that, like that much history, and which is like crazy. Like it's actually very not, yeah, not that expensive. No big deal. Food for thought. Uh, Food for thought. It works for luxury bazaar now. So yeah. <laughs> Logan says I bought my dad a Seiko a few years back for Father's Day. I think it was one hundred and twenty dollars. He thought even that was too expensive for a while. Yeah, I mean, I could see it going either way depending on their their, their practical side, like. You know, I think, you know, a lot of like that generation of uh, men really wanted to get the most bang per buck, like the most style they could for the best price. It wasn't about getting the best. You know, the, yeah, I realized there was no social media. If you had a decent watch, you probably had the nicest watch that like, everyone you knew. You know what I mean? It's not like on here. You could spend uh, a million dollars watch collection and, and people come and blow you out of the water. You're like, all right, you go home. Like, okay, a little sad, you know. But I want to get to our man REG with a mega twenty dollars super chat. Thank you, Ari. Very generous of you saying, "I want the super chat to represent my love and respect for those without dads on this day." I know many of you would wear three squales and hublots on each wrist if it meant being able to hug your father again. Love you all. Thank you, Ari. Very very kind. nice, very nice gesture, very nice. Ari. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Now the question um, is, some of us have fathers that wouldn't let us hug them if we were wearing three squallies and three squallies. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> or if it did, it would be incredibly awkward. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was a very, very nice super chat, Ari. Very kind. Very uh, you know, a lot, a lot of people don't, uh, you know, they take it for granted when they're, um, you know, not to take it for granted, but you know, they, they have a, they're having a good day, and uh, you know, some people aren't, but. Yep, it's good to keep everyone in mind. But let's not get too down, guys. We have unboxings. We have unboxings going on. Now. While we were chatting, we kind of blew past the 25 upvote um, mark here, which is great. We're at 31. We'll make us easier to get to the next level. But I am ready to unveil what I got this week. Marco's oh, no. favorite new watch. Oh, so, no. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's a squally. I think I told you the story last week about a watch I was bidding on, and uh, the guy took forever to ship it, right? I was telling the story. Yeah. And uh, I finally got it the other day. I missed, actually, the FedEx guy the first time, but I went and picked it up from the factory. Now, this strap I kind of put on myself, uh, just a little customization, but I got another Unimatic. <laughs> this one Bravo. is Messina Labs. Um, 
Let me see if I get a good uh, block my ugly face. Maybe that'll help. Oh, you have closer. to pull it away from the camera. There we right. go. That's beautiful. Yeah, I like that bright nice. arm. And yep. Nice contrast. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as the uh, the original one. The other one um, just has the orange hand. Um, very clean, very bright bezel looking. First. Let's hear the bezel sound. Yeah, oh, is this a micro it's, brand it's, or is this like uh Winamatic is yeah, it's a it's an Italian micro brand. They use an NH35 um to Seiko movement, very durable. It's really an oversimplified design. That's what I like. Yeah. It's almost like cartoon like simplification of a sub kind of. Um but I just find it to be a really cool dive watch, you know. Uh for what it is, I mean under a thousand bucks. It's 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 a fun watch. And the bezel click is amazing. Listen to this. It's 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 not bi-directional. It's just like Rolex. You got to go reverse. Look how clean this is. Tight. Ah, it's so good. That's a nice one. Yes, some more. Pretty good. To be honest with you, I have to say it's very close to like Black Bay Fifty Eight. Really? It sounds better than a Blanc Pen Fifty Fathoms. It <laughs> is kind of sucks. It, it is. Really yeah, good. no, those are really those are squishy. Yeah. I would say it's on par with a Black Bay 58, or at least close. I mean, it's pretty good for a thousand bucks, under a thousand. Yeah, it's very tight, very tight. I can actually show you the other one I have in here in my third box of uh, watches that I rarely pull out. But uh, this was the uh, <laughs> third box. Comment. Here's my third LV box with watches. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> this is the original one I got with the Horween leather. Um, the leather on this. He keeps these in his man purses. This is court of European hand. handbags. Yeah, his hand Louis Vuitton. <laughs> but that, that's really the only difference. I'll do a side by side. I'm sure people want to see that. Um, it's one upside down. No, they're both right. Let's see if I can get them to. There you go. Very nice. I like They're very similar. Just one's orange hand, one's not. But one I got on the rubber, one I got on the leather. Different enough. I like that orange hand one, actually. It's kind of cool. The orange hand one I like a lot. Yeah. So are you selling the black one? <laughs> <laughs> it's brand new. It's one or it. two weeks from now. He's going to enjoy it for a little bit. There's my other box I'm sure people want. There's a couple watches in there. The PRX is in there. The Alpinist. Watch that Ali gave me. The G-Shock. Um, the one that me and Marco have. The plastic one we bought on the same day that he don't want no more. I really I, should. I, dude, it has sat... Okay, so it has like literally sat on the top shelf of my desk now for since I bought it. I never even I think I unboxed it, put it back in the box, and never touched it again. Can, I should give it away on the channel. Can, can I ask how you know how do how do the metal uh, G shocks feel for the rectangles? Like how do they feel? Do they feel super heavy? Well, sorry, so, let's, so, let's, let's say that one more time, Mario. I'm sorry. I was I know no, you want to please soak in the uh, the compliments for your. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was basking in the compliment. basking yeah. in the glory. Yeah, yeah. I gotta, yeah. I gotta accept all the uh, endorphins. You yeah. know, feel good yeah. from yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I might sure. change the subject too quickly. I just saw the metal G Shock there. I was just curious: is it a heavy watch? Is it a thick watch? Is it uh... the G Shock? Yeah, yeah. The no, no, it's one. light. It's titanium. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So that's it, it's super light. The, that yeah. watch is one of my favorite watches. I mean, it's pretty much the same one the Captain has, just a different style. Right. Yeah. So, I think it's close to what a hundred or a hundred and three is it grams? It's right. It's a That's lot lighter light, than that. So it's super light. It's a lot yeah, lighter yeah, than the uh, metal one. Like, I think it, a it, Rolex yeah. typically full links is like double the is double the weight, right? So about almost two hundred grams, not quite. Oh yeah, so mm -hmm. it is very lightweight. Well, that looks like a quite a heavy one. That looks like Ooh. a beast there. That, oh, that's chunk, the, the chunky with the, with the metal case, I think, right? The yeah, that's case. a. That's a Casio. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the ones with the steel cases are still fairly heavy, but the mm -hmm. one JJ, the one Cap, the ones I have are all titanium, and they're like, that's a nice watch though. Yeah, that looks like a bouncer's watch. If somebody's if somebody's giving you a hard time, just beat them over the head with that watch. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. If Mr. G's go for a, a ton of money. It's so light, you can actually like look, throw it out, and <laughs> just, just throw, not worry and about throw it. it all around. <laughs> could juggle. That's I could funny. juggle with it. I'll do an Instagram where I juggle with some watches and then drop now, now guys, two tennis balls and a watch. We got to keep in mind we have a Rolex, a hands-on live Rolex, Rolex unboxing for a watch that's never been on the channel before. Um, we got to get to fifty upvotes though, because it's 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 that good. So let's let's get JJ, those a special going. Father's Day Rolex. While unboxing. you're waiting for that, um, I 
I may have missed it. Maynard Golf Goff's chat. Let's see. It, it, oh, it's really another right. one of the sentimental ones that deserves a highlight on today. Okay, yeah, that probably came up when I was showing my uh, my wish my All right, I'm gonna search through. Oh, here we go. Got it. Yeah, in the meantime, guys, let's go. Fourteen or oh, fourteen more? We need. Yep, fourteen more super chats, and the mega unboxing begins. All right, Maynard Golf. Dad had a quartz Timex. The battery died a few days before he passed. I replaced the battery for him and put it back on his wrist the morning he died. You'd have thought it was a Rolex. What a smile. Wow. That's a beautiful wow. story. Yeah, you know, I think this gets lost on a lot of people, like, especially like a lot of the old timers. I remember like my grandfather in particular would he had a knife, right? He would carry around with him, a little pocket knife. He used to cut his cardboard and because um, he had always have different businesses and stuff. I think that's kind of where I got that from. But he was zooming around from place to place and um, always had that little knife with him. And I remember it. I actually still have it somewhere. I got to look around for it. But um, he loved that thing. And like he had it for years. And then you look and it's like, you know, like I get into knife collecting and this and that. You have 30, 40 knives. It's like it gets kind of lost on you, the specialness of having something that long and that being your whatever it is, your watch, your your knife, your the thing that you – You've gotten so much use out of it, like you paid for it a thousand times over. You know what I mean? I think that kind of got lost in uh, in these newer generations, you know. But uh, yeah, that's yeah. really that's really amazing. See, like that's what I'm saying. Like just having a piece like that can make someone so happy. It's it's good to kind of get back to that, especially like in this time right now, where uh, it's the memories the they've made with the watches. Right, right. You know, just years of having it like by your side, almost like how my Breitling was. You know. Um, I did so much stuff with that watch. It took me a long time to really let that go. And it's only because I just had so many other watches. But um, I think if I didn't make it so dated, like by putting the bezel on it, I would, it would have lasted a lot longer. But You finally um, you finally sold it? Yeah, yeah, I sold it. I, I finally let it go. Uh, you know what it is? It's just you get now it's the other, the other balance of the scale. It's, it's downsizing to a reasonable amount of watches. You know what I mean? Um, just having too much too much stuff it's not not good for you you know i think i have to share this jj says the man yeah. with three boxes of watches i'm working yeah but i'm trimming i'm trimming working on it oh what do we got there is that uh mm. is that, like a, is that, very, a, Le sorry, is that a lego set it yeah, is that's what I'm saying. It is. I didn't want to say Lego. I didn't it's want to make fun of that. say it looks like Lego. Night. Sorry, night. Yeah, right. it's a Lego, and there's the little Van Gogh there. Yeah, it's, that's uh, awesome. two thousand three hundred sixteen pieces. Mm -hmm. um, wow. It's actually the frame is Lego. It's hangable. It's hard to see on the back, but the the thing is, uh, like three proper three D. Um, oh, okay. let me lift it. You can see in that one of those bottom panels. Let me see if I can get that to the camera. You can see it's got like depth. Right, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So this that's was my Father's Day gift for my daughter today. Oh, that's awesome. Well, that's pretty cool. So I will make that and hang it on the wall. Yeah. Now Legos always uh always hold good value, believe it or not. Um I have a, a friend, his son is super into Lego. And like they're actually worth like a lot more than what he paid for them. He used to build them and save them as a kid. I think a lot of them you have to keep a box though. But that one in particular is really cool. That's a great idea. The Lego, uh, the yeah, set. That was... How many moments? How many sets are? How many do they make in the Momo set? Uh, I, I don't. I don't know honestly. I haven't uh, looked at. I kept all. Well, I didn't. My mom kept all the Lego sets, like all my original Star Wars sets and stuff that I made. Right. Um. Said so my daughter had recently seen those at her grandparents' house, right. so she went and got this for me. I I had no idea. I have no idea. So I'll look into it for sure. But yeah, that's that's a, that's really cool. That's fun. Were you guys gonna build it together? You think, or is that a... she doesn't have the patience to build something that's two thousand <laughs> three hundred and sixteen pieces or whatever? Oh, it's like nice. I was shocked when I saw that number. I'm like, that's a lot yeah. of pieces. Yeah, yeah, me and my daughter cool. built the Death Star one year during Christmas break, and I think she got through like the you know the individual packets. Yeah, they got the Lego package like one, two, three, mm -hmm. whatever. I think she made it to packet three, and she was like, "I'm out." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a lot of work going on. Yeah, there. it was a lot. No, I'll enjoy doing it. 
And I do like the fact that the frame is Lego and I can actually hang it that way. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, that's the, that's the coolest part, that you can actually hang it as wall art. I, I, I like that a lot. Very cool. All right, guys, we have eight more. Eight more measly upvotes, and we're ready to rock and roll. Live unboxing. Are you guys ready to see it or what? I'm ready. I know that. So I'm going to keep an eye. Let me know if it goes past it. But I wanted to pull this up while we wait. I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up, and, uh, <laughs> I uh, want to just get to the top. Hold on. Share screen. Marco does this so effortless, effortlessly. It's nice. It's nice. Uh, it's nice that you appreciate now, JJ. <laughs> oh, I always, I always say pulling up is an important uh, aspect. Now, after I made this title, I'm like, hmm, let me see, you know, what's out there. And funny enough. Houdinki made this article today, like 15 hours ago, about best watches for dead. Um, and I guess they used like samples of like, you know, people, like actual people. So like, they picked this guy, Pierre, and they went like according to what their style and um, showed them like how they wear the watches, like with, with their style. Like, obviously, he, you know, he's wearing a high end Vacheron. The guy looks like he's a. Uh, Maybe a stylish guy there. He's got a Vacheron Constantin Patrimony Chronograph, <laughs> um, and they're just, I guess, showing how like different styles for your dad like could, um, you know, could uh, which one call it? How could be they could be styled? I think this is a really cool watch. I don't, I don't think Marco likes this watch, right? I, I just wanted to ask you. It's not my you favorite. Like it? It's like a big beast right. of a watch. I think it's like yeah. forty-two mil, uh, but I mean, it's a nice design. Mm. I kind of like these other ones. Like, like it doesn't make sense. <laughs> You know what it is, right? It's like they scaled up their traditional, not the traditional, but the patrimony rather, and right. and then made it into a chronograph, which is the only people who do that well, in my opinion, is Patek. That's, that's the only one who does Calatrava chronographs well. Yeah, I guess. Well, this guy styled a bunch, and there, it is a more casual look with the Daytona. It doesn't look. I mean, the Daytona looks just as big on him as the uh, other one. Um, they were pretty small too, don't they? The Daytona. Yeah, they were. They were more like I'd say a thirty-eight and a half. Ah, oh, that makes sense. See, they have a link to their shop with all of these watches. Oh, <laughs> that's what's going on here. There okay. you go. A Who would have thought? The panda, by the way. Hey guys, I have six oh. six pandas. I could sell you for that price. Hit me up. <laughs> like that's retarded. Did someone say panda? <laughs> panda. panda, panda. Uh, it's only if it's super chatted that that. Uh, oh, speak of the devil. Know. Speak of the devil. Super chat. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Super chat from our man Mossy. Mossy there we go. Got a five dollar super chat. He's saying Screw good evening, Mossy. gents. Uh, I hope you are all well on this Father's Day. Can I just take a moment to say, and <laughs> yes, you can. There you go, Mossy. Thank you very much. Appreciate your super sorry, chat. Sorry, sorry, Marco. It doesn't count in. Uh... In uh, member yeah. anniversary chest. <laughs> what? It seems, it seems like he never runs out of these. Like, didn't he just use this like last week to do it? Yeah, I know. It's because right? I use them very sparingly. I need to use them on, on the right occasion. All right, let him do it. Let him do it. Right. Let him beat. Let him beat the dead horse. Yeah. Pull it up. I'm waiting for it to, to pop up on here so I can pull it up. I, I listened to that rap song where that came from that you told me about, JJ. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> I could just imagine Cap jamming out, like whipping his hair, his head back and forth to pen. <laughs> yeah, like, to pen and pen and pen. Long jam says, he's, hey, man. He, he says he's not used to seeing me without a hat. Yeah, man, that's because I haven't been wearing the headphones, so the hat is not required anymore. I know a lot of people think uh, I'm fully bald, but there you go. Got some hair. Got some hair left in my mid forties. I'm still. Well, wearing. I saw I saw two hands on the screen there a second ago. I heard that you had like one gimped hand too. No, they both both exist. They both do this. You know. Uh, here we go, Marco. Eleven month, used his eleven month uh, member chat. By the way, guys, if you want to become a member, uh, hit me up on Instagram, Gentlemen's Hangout, or you can email me, Gentlemen's Hangout at gmail dot com. Become a member of the channel, any level up to what is it? Well, dollar ninety nine, I think, is the cheapest, and uh, you get entry to the WhatsApp group, and you get these kinds of chats as well. So here you go, Marco. Enjoy. 
<laughs> Thank you. Um, we should do just a special on the best panda chronographs. What do you think? <laughs> That'd be cool. We could get caps in there. We could get uh, mine in there. Yeah. I think that would be really cool. As long as we could play panda, panda, panda every every time exactly. we show one. Yeah, people will be leaving in droves. After every <laughs> season, play Suddenly we have two views. Right. Yeah, I thought you were going to start playing Luther Vandross, man. I was going to get out my Kleenex. <laughs> By the way, guys, hey, oh, yeah, no. uh, six more upvotes, and we have an unboxing. Six measly upvotes. So if you haven't upvoted yet, get in there. Um, let's see. What other watches did I have? So, yeah, basically Marco has figured out this is all for sale. But I think it's still interesting to see different looks. Uh, this is a cool watch. I used to always like this watch. Ooh, yeah, uh, I do like the Tribe 21. Yeah. I think, Ali, you had this watch, right? But you weren't a fan of the uh, split. Uh... I loved the watch. Breguet wouldn't be. So it, had a, it has a bolstered strap. Um, Breguet flat out said they do not offer longer straps. And they their customer service was was just obnoxious as hell. Wow. Uh, They're French. What do you expect? <laughs> so, yeah, I was... Uh, the the strap design is very very unique, and I wanted I wanted that strap, so I, I did part ways with it. But I did love the dial, I like the watch itself. Yeah, I think it was a cool watch. How was the thickness? Perfect. I mean, again, I wear like forty mil for me is small, um, and it is a thick watch. But you know, when you're normally wearing forty three mil, if you can get away with it, right? Uh, the thickness really doesn't bother me much. I think it was about. 14 and a half mil so it was chunky um but it felt good and it really did feel good that 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 coin edge uh the texture of it the the dial the sub dials had two textures in them had contrasting textures in them as well the loom was insane like the loom was because you go outside in florida high sun Mm -hmm. then you walk inside and all your lights are on, the loom is still bright on any watch. And on that brigade, it was hilarious. It was like, you know, you're worried that there's a, there's a half-life issue going on. And we got the Hulk up next, which I think is one of my favorite Rolex. Just the green is so representative of Rolex. I really, for a watch I, I liked and then went back and forth on, I really have come to like really love that watch. I can see why people get attached to it. <clears throat> By the way, guys, three more measly upfolds and we're ready to unbox. And last, we'll do Jake, and then we'll probably be ready to unbox by then. Jake looks like uh, Steve Jobs over here with the black turtleneck here. <laughs> um, yeah, He's ready to sell you an Apple Watch. But before he does that, he's going to transport you back to the 70s uh, or the 80s. What does he got here? Tag Hoyer Aqua Racer. Nice watch. Not really one of my personal favorites, but I like the dial. Yeah, it's an interesting dial. I do like that dial. Um, hmm. it gives me they, some normal vibes a little bit, right? Yeah, they didn't make they didn't put the adjustable clasp on this model, which I don't oh, understand. No. Yeah, that's weird for a diver. You'd think they'd have that on there. It kind of reminds me of an Oris Aquis with that dial. To be honest with you, the no? style has more texture, but the color is like this is one of Oris's core colors. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Mm. The color, yeah, the color, rather, not the texture. And then I think you got a date just yet. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. So those are some uh, some Father's Day ideas, you know, for everyone. Just wanted to show a few. Guys, two more. <laughs> Big George says, five more, bring out the troll accounts. Yeah, where's Toyota Mo's uh, accounts when you need them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, two more accounts, guys. Two more accounts. Two more clicks, guys. <laughs> yeah ready to unbox then i mentioned that this is the first time this rolex has been shown on this channel I'm joking i'm choking here uh, all right yeah so that that was uh those are the watches i found i hope you guys like them we're gonna open up the form into some regular chit chat after the unboxing marco no, did, you, did yeah. you see a, a uptick in watch buying for father's day or was it the same as it's always been no i mean pretty much the same yeah mm -hmm. it's just uh i don't think father's day is that like a big an occasion <laughs> no just, yeah no 
Yeah, father, Father's Day, fathers usually get uh, shafted. They don't get too many good gifts, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Mother's Day, you get uh, all jewelry, flowers, there's that, you know. Uh, dads get like, here you go, a new, uh, you know, power Here's a, hug. Here's, a Here's hug. a drill. Here's a drill. Go hang up those mirrors I've been asking you to hang up <laughs> for the last five months. You know, it's like if you gave uh, if you gave your wife a vacuum cleaner, you'd be, uh, yeah, you'd be in sort of trouble. Uh yeah, the it's, it's Father's Day for me is usually I have to assemble something. I have to do the cooking. Right? <laughs> and that's, you know, it's like, I just want to take a nap, right? It's like, but it's it's good. I still like it. You get the extra kisses. I, uh, you know, uh, I, uh, so uh, it's 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 fun. But it is funny. Like, there's no Father's Day brunch. My, my not friend, making brunch reservations for Father's Day. <laughs> My friend's kids do make him breakfast, though. He has three three girls. Oh, that's they, uh, nice. That's yeah, they nice. all make him breakfast. That, that's, he's like, the beginning of the day starts off great. By the end, they, they, you know, it's like, you know, whatever's going on there. But we have Michael Sugar at the house. What's up, Michael? Saying, happy Father's Day. Catching the hangout with the wife. Enjoy all. Hello, Michael. Thank you, Michael. Wife. How's it going? Hope you guys are having a good evening. Uh, let's see. One more, guys. One more. So oh. close. <laughs> I know. I feel like we should... Uh, I don't know. I, I I can't go back on my word. You know, I said 50, 50. Rangers fan says, "Come on, Tiger, one more." Yeah, just do it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys the uh, you know the benefit of the doubt that one of you are gonna press the like button while while we set up over here. But I'm just gonna move. So, oh, this is the fun part. Nobody knows who's doing the there. We button. go. Oh, we're good. It looks like somebody erased one. I got forty-eight. You got fifty. All right. Let's Close enough. Good. Well, I don't know. Jason just pressed it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jason. All right. So, who's it going to be? Let's move some stuff around here. Who's the unboxer? Here we go. Ted. You have been chosen to the test. There we go, guys. We are ready. We have actually 53. Now, uh, 53 upvotes. That's how excited these guys are. Here we go. New live Rolex unboxing. Hands on. Never been on the channel live before. Well, hold on a second. Before we do any unboxing, you gotta tell us the story, how it how it happened. You know. Okay. Did you get a call? Did you get a text? What What are we talking? You gotta. I actually. Okay. All right. Uh, I was at work, and uh, my AD she texted me, and said, "Hey, how do you feel about an opportunity?" And I said. I'll love you forever if if it's the opportunity. Luckily, they only sell Rolexes there. And, uh, you know, it wasn't the call, but it was a call. And whenever you get a chance to have an AD call you, you say yes. Right. Uh, so, yeah. So I hopped in my car and drove an hour and a half to pick it up that evening. And, uh, yeah, I was excited. Okay, okay. Y'all ready? Here we go. Let's All right, do. so it is a Rolex. It is. Box open. Ooh. Ooh. We haven't seen this. Actually, I haven't even seen this yet. Wow, is, guys, the so new hard. Air King. We nice. have not. Yeah, we have not. These are very hard to come wow. by. Wow. Right yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> I let, yeah, like I said, thing. it uh, it wasn't like I, I wasn't expecting the Air King, but when she sent me a picture of it, I was like, uh, "Yeah, absolutely, yes, I definitely want it." Yeah, these are quite quite rare right now. I mean, there's not many of these out there with the new. Can we see the new yeah. Crown Guard? What do you, what do you think of them? Um, um, I I really like it. Um, it seems really thin. The watch is. Uh, it's super thin because it doesn't have like the Milgauss type case. Right. To me, it's like the it's like the uh, GMT case. Yeah, kind of reminds me. You know, I was gonna say the Explorer. It. it kind of looks like the Explorer case, you know. Yeah. Like a thin. The Crown Guard looks really subtle too. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. And I they added they a flip lock clasp on this now. Uh, yeah. Right, which is so much better than the other one before. Oh my god! Yeah, oh, yeah, like on the mill gas. See, this just makes me really think that they're um, going to discontinue that mill gas this year. I mean, I know we say that every year, but um, <laughs> because now that the, the, you know the Air King's not using that case either, so it's right. like you know, yep. 
But I, I think it's really cool. So how, how do you like it now? I mean, you've had it for what? Not very long, right? You um, yeah, what? Three days? Um, I really like it. I, I wasn't sure um, how I would feel about it, but I've actually, it's quirky. It's uh, a little weird, um, but I actually really like it. I do believe I'm going to keep it. I like that they added the dual uh, digits on the five. Yeah, the 05. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, the 05. Yeah, I, I uh, think that's really nice. And yeah. 3, 6, and 9 are loomed also now. Yes, right? the 3, 6, and 9 are loomed. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I really, I enjoy it. Like I said, it's real thin. Um, so it's a, I really enjoy it. Nice, very nice. Now, this kind of, um, th this, this makes me happy, and I'll tell you why. It's like they took all the points of the older Air King, and they actually um, really refined it and fixed it up. You know, like the old, not having the zero by the five was a mistake with the symmetry. Not looming the three six nine was a mistake. Um, the crown guards I could go either way, but I like the way they did them. I think it made sportens it up. Um, I like the way they made the case thinner and more wearable. You got the double clasp. You got the adjustment on it. They they really went step in the right direction like there's yeah. you know usually they kind of fuck something up somewhere and i don't really feel like they did that with this watch and and once again like renders don't do it justice like this looks a lot better um as dugo ted's putting it up on the screen than oh. than a lot of the web renders did yeah, yeah the profile looks there. great of it too when you give us that shot the side profile it looks like yeah, yeah it's like the gmt case so i can explore a case explore yeah one, right so very nice. all smudgy I've been wearing the crap out of it. Health. Thank you. I appreciate Definitely. it. Thank you for sharing that with us. One more time, let's give it up for our man, Duco Ted. Very nice. Now, Shonoff says, nice. I was considering asking my AD for this one. It's a very unique Rolex and different from the usual suspects. Yeah. Now, I, I have to ask you, as a man who's had the Z Blue and the Air King now, which do you prefer? Let's put you on the spot. Um, so I'll put my camera back. I, it's hard to say because this feels better on the wrist. Um, right. because the mill gauss is, you know, thick. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know that it's so thin that it, I don't know. It feels better than the, right. like the Z blue felt top heavy. Like if I, I do this a lot and I could feel the top. Yeah, going jiggles. Back. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I remember that. Right. Um, so the, the Z Blue was beautiful dial and super quirky. Looking back, I probably should have kept the Z Blue and then added this. That would have been like a quirky little one-two punch. Mm. Uh, quirky well, indeed. I, I, think, yeah. I think the best of both worlds would be if they do upgrade the Z Blue into that case. You know where, where you yes. get the GB glass and the Z blue dial in that case. I think that, that would be, be killer. Yeah. There, right? And we got a couple super chats. Let's catch up on. We have our main man, the medium legend himself, Toyota Mo, with a five dollar super chat saying, Very, very nice. Congratulations to Duke Ted. Wear it in good health, my friend. There you go, Toyota Mo, the medium legend himself. Thank you, Mo. Uh, we got Burbing Hard in the house. Burb, hop on if you want, buddy. Uh, congrats, Duke <laughs> Ted. Couldn't happy. It couldn't happen to a nicer guy. I agree. My wife, my wife is in the comments. <laughs> I saw that. I thought that was funny. <laughs> oh, Grief gosh. Says, congrats on the Air King. Great updates. Thank you. Uh, Marco with the $5 super chat saying, awesome to see Dugo get the call. Deserving collector. Now ask them for the panda. And, of course, the best. It had to throw pan. Thank you, Marco. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, here we go. Yes, you should have kept it. What was that the uh, <laughs> the Z blue? She loved the Z blue. Uh, see, that's a keeper right there, telling you to keep watches. That that's yeah. Um, usually, uh, so your wife would tell you to sell some watches, but very nice. Thank you for joining us in the chat, by the way. You have a, you you have a wonderful man, the day, right? and he always yeah, says that all... he's he's the blessed one that you know. He has the that's right. Uh, you know, I, I won't say that. I have to say, he does sing your praises and your daughter's praises. So that's right. Good guy. I like having him around. Thank you for lo loaning him to us on, on occasion. So I just want to know, Duco Ted, is that going to be a chicken coop watch? I saw no, the, the little raptors. The little raptors. 
but thanks. I appreciate it. I laughed when I saw that, the little rafters. Yeah, <laughs> that was my wife. That was all her. That was her idea. She it's got really a kick cool, out man. of it. Yeah. Then we got a member uh, chat from Ali saying, um, did someone say it's time for the one hour commercial break? Oh, that's right. Yep. We are four minutes away. We are four minutes away from the one hour commercial break. We'll play that momentarily. Toyota Bo is a little held up with Becky in accounting. All right. <laughs> Why is there only nine uploads? I don't know what that means. I think it needs oh. to refresh. Yeah, you probably needs to refresh. So. Yeah, it needs to refresh. No, up, uploads or uploads? Up I think he means upvotes, up up yeah. I oh. Maybe he was speaking it and it auto-corrected him. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah, yeah no, we're, we're way over that. We're way past 50, which is good. Um I thought he meant like uploads because I did make a lot of the old private, uh, a lot of the old streams private for members only, um, just to give an added benefit. I'm, I believe there's plenty of like new, like you know, new people to check out the channel. I doubt they're going to want to watch, um, you know, ones from months back unless they're really into the uh, into the stream. So yeah, I made I made those as like uh, private for, uh, you know, uh, members of the uh, the channel. That's all. If that's what he meant. So your friend Mike says, def I definitely like the loom on the 369. And my ID mentioned that the use that they used the GMT case. Oh, they used the GMT case on the new Air King now. There you go. So you were right. I do believe that we are uh, we are losing Ducotet now. Uh oh. Yet I got to run, go hang out with the wife and kid. And uh, oh, well, there you go. Thanks for letting me come on. I really appreciate Word it. You're in good health, man. Congratulations. Congrats, Duco. You're in good health, man. Appreciate it. Your wife and kid, thank you for loaning, us, uh, loaning you to us for the last uh, hour or so. Greatly appreciated. Enjoy the rest of your night. And again, happy Father's Day. Enjoy your watch. And Thanks, enjoy guys. Your I appreciate it. Night night. Take care. There you go, guys. Hope you like that new unboxing there from our man Duke That's a nice watch. That was yeah. a nice watch. It's nice to see it, uh, a live Air King unboxing. Yeah. yeah. It's right. a special treat. Yeah, JJ was saying, like, we've never seen it on the channel, this watch. And I'm thinking to myself, like, every unboxing, we've never seen that watch on the channel. I, in my head, I didn't piece together. He meant, like, this is a yeah. Rolex we have never seen. Yeah, yeah. I, I've never yeah. seen that in person, like, hands-on, somebody showing yeah, it to us. Yeah, it's, really, it's, a, it's really nice. It's really, really nice. Like I said, it's different when you see renderings and photos. When you have someone who has it in hand, you're like, all right, turn it a little this way, turn this. You could like really see every yeah. part you want to see. But I, I tell you, I mean, you really... can say that about every watch, though. Like every watch is so different in person versus the crappy computer renderings they have, right? But the the Air King yeah. is like, I I don't think I've ever seen an Air King period outside of a display case, right? And to see the new Air King. In somebody's hands, um, really yeah. nice. I think one thing that's lost, also, especially on the Air King, is so like the printing on the dial gives like a very raised effect, right? Like, like almost like a three dimensionality to the to the dial itself, and that's kind of lost in computer rendering. It just looks like super flat. So yeah, it's a lot more interesting in person, definitely. Mm. And the color pops. I I also find uh, find it funny. Like a lot of people don't mention this, but there is like a whole. Rolex sub sub uh, subculture that collects the Batman and Robin, right? You know about that, right? Like they call the Air King the Robin. And really? Yeah, yeah. That's a, there's a whole like group of people that are into that, like Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin, huh? That's an interesting yeah. one. I never knew that to be fair. Yeah, I, I had no idea. Are you saying I need to get a, I need to get an Air King, JJ? Well, you have a Batgirl, so um, I don't know if it'll work. I have a Bruce Wayne. Whoa, whoa, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very comfortable calling it a back row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, don't, I don't care what anyone wants to call it. I like it. You know what's funny? The other day I was actually thinking about swapping and getting the oyster bracelet. I, I think I think I might be transitioning, but I think I'm just bored. Right? That's, what I'm really bro, that's my issue with it. Jubilee just hides scratch. This watch, other than like the middle of the class, but it still looks like brand new. I, I have to be like I'm not. Again, I'm not big into Rolex, but the Jubilee bracelet to me has always been just ridiculous. I've never liked it. Ever. What? I think it's so good. It's maybe the best bracelet they make. I prefer it over the... Pre the. I know you say you love the, the President's bracelet, JJ, on the day date. But I don't know, mm -hmm. man. I think the Jubilee is the best by far. Just my personal favorite. I don't know. 
Right. I know it's the one hour mark, right? Now we yep. hit it. We usually play GMT's commercial, but I think this would be a little more uh, fitting, being that it's Father's Day. So we'll give this one out to our man, Mr. GMT. Figure that made a little a little more sense for tonight. You know what I mean? So. Agreed. Very nice. Very nice. Very yeah. kind. Very nice. You can you can tell where me and Mr. GMT got his work ethic from. You could <laughs> see it in, in that in that face and that skin and those fingers. Yeah, oh, that was a hard true. working man right there. Yep, that is for sure. He's probably working hard right now as we speak. Yeah, uh, yeah he's got a couple of businesses just like uh just like JJ's pedigree. <laughs> And we got Big George saying the day date bracelet is the best. Um, um, I think it looks the best. I don't think it is the best. I like the hidden clasp. Um, no adjustment though. I think if it had a, a little bit of an adjustment, I think we get spoiled with that adjustment. You know, it is really for sport watches, but yeah, yeah looks wise. I think looks wise. If think Jubilee it's... had glide lock, it would be the best ba bracelet ever invented, honestly. But you don't even need glide lock, like the. Just the half, the what's it called when you pull it out, and it's more than enough to be honest. Uh, let's see here. I want to highlight Mossy used his chat. Copy that. All right. Uh, showing up says JJ. I want to do the same thing. I prefer the Batman on Oyster, Pepsi on Jubilee. Oyster is technically the original iteration of the Batman. Um, yeah, I used to always, I always liked it the opposite way, but uh, because I like, I like the um, I always liked the way the Pepsi looked on Oyster. And I like the versatility. Like yeah. I would say for vacation to use the the back arrow because um, you could dress it up or down. But um, I don't know. Just I don't know if it's just out of boredom or for having it so long. But I'm kind of leaning towards like that happens, the dude. On it. That happens. I would ultimately like to just get an oyster bracelet and be able to swap them back and forth. Uh, you know, all willy nilly, as they say. But yeah. so I have a favor to ask, JJ. I actually have a. Uh, an unboxing that I want to do because I literally Ooh. haven't taken the wrapper off because I was going to do it on Friday, but you went early on Friday. And the reason I'm doing it on air is because I was impressed when I got it. Is that all right with you? Yeah, sure thing. As you, I just want to read Mossy thing and then we'll yeah, get for it, the unboxing because it uh, ties into what we did. Uh, Mossy used his member chat to say uh, beautiful thoughts and gesture, JJ, fair play. Oh, thank you, man. Um, actually made that a while back uh, when GMT lost his dad, but just figured tonight would be a good night to play it again. Uh, we, all love, we all love GMT. Agreed. Okay, let me shift you over to the first slot here. I'll put Marco there this way. I'm in the middle. Monkey in the middle. All right. What so do we got? I ordered from Naxos. Um, there's a Zhirzhov fragrance. JJ actually helped me pick this. JJ being our fragrance resident expert. <laughs> it came in, you know, just a regular white shipping box, or so I thought. And this is the reason I started, I stopped unboxing it in real life. So it has the full bound flap like we're used to with our nice watches, right? And then it has a really nice additional like Italian theme. So yeah, this is, I literally haven't. And that's why I asked if I could do it because I was waiting sure. to work with JJ because I think there's another surprise in here. I'm yeah. not mistaken. Yeah. I have like a, I have a, a separate tab with like eight fragrance samples that I haven't pulled the trigger on. <laughs> Send me over the edge. God damn it! Oh, this is good, and it gets it gets nicer the packaging as you go too, which is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So then <clears throat> it's just a a pull box and jeez. And it keeps going. Oh, that's cushioned. Yes, it is. It's it's nicer than some watch boxes you can. Damn. Right? It's really, really it, nice. It, it just smells anything close to what the uh, the box looks like and the presentation. 
That's got to be a winner. Here we go. Another wow. touch there. Oh, and th this isn't paper. This is – what is this material? This is like an ultra-thin microfiber. Yeah, it it's, like, it's like yeah, ultra-thin like microfiber. microfiber. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't, they, don't, they don't mess about. There you go. Oh, wow. Even the, bo the bottle is great, too. You should pull out the bottle. Like, I like how it like slopes up like kind of like a horn. <sighs> Even the back of where the bottle sits is embossed, and that's like a nice cloth too. This is crazy presentation for a free. Yeah, Zer Zergroff is really top-notch quality. Beautiful yeah. stuff. Now, have you tried it yet? No, no. I literally it's been in the bloody box. Uh, I'm you I'm heard me rip the, the plastic off. <laughs> wow. It, it's it's on wrist and give it's, it's yeah. yeah, yeah. If, if, if you don't mind, if you would, uh, it's up to you. I don't know if you want to have that smell on you. Um. It's very natural smelling. It, it smells great. It's, it's it's very pleasant. It's not gonna, you know, it's not like super loud or obnoxious. It's no, no. I mean, all the the notes are. Yeah, it's it, it's almost like you're sitting in a cafe in Europe with like like a cinnabon on your table and like cinnabon. tulips around Jesus. you, right? like plants around you, and um, it's it's super sophisticated and pleasant. Really. So that's interesting. It's you talk like, about a sophisticated European like cafe experience in Cinnabon. Just saying. Well, yeah, well, not a Cinnabon, but you know what I mean, like that yeah, gourmet yeah, yeah. kind of smell. Yeah, of I, I'm I'm busting your chops. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, well, I kind of caught that myself. I was like, oh shit, yeah. Cinnabon was not a good yeah. choice. All right, so it's got. There's like a, a if you had a your hydrangeas can be like overwhelming. It's got some hydrangea, some vanilla. There's like a a really subtle. Have you ever had just a regular tobacco leaf before it's been dried? Right, right. Like where the tobacco smells really subtle? Mm hmm Oh, this is a perfect summer fragrance. It's really nice. It's really, oh, really enjoyable. that's enjoyed. so nice. Right? It, it's, it, it, the best oh, one I can describe it as pleasant. Like if you're going it's, like to it's, see your family and stuff, like it's something you would wear. It's respectable. It's not like loud in your face fragrance. It's very mild and nice. This is <laughs> like late and went to church. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's a great way to say it. Yes. It, this is like if I'm going to see family or like, you know, if I had to go meet someone's parents or like I was going even into a business oh. meeting or something, it, it's like so unoffensive and just it's like just sophisticated and very pleasant. It's like very nice. Gun, that's nice. By Good, the way, right? Ali, the silky in me has to correct you. You should, uh, Omar is the one who told me this. You should never like rub your wrists together because it crushes like the fragrance oils. And your fragrance doesn't last as long. Now, this is a great reference. Al from Street Sense. I haven't heard anyone talk about Al. Al from Street Sense. Street Sense was a, a yeah. channel on YouTube. And he would interview people on the street and just make them smell it and like give them like his thoughts. It, he's a pretty interesting, funny guy. He's not a big channel at all, which is pretty funny, that reference. But I know it. Yeah, but yeah, he doesn't like when you rub it in. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't but I, yeah, I wanted to open it on there because this, is, this presentation is crazy. Yeah, normally I would say rubbing it in is not good, but I get why Ali did it because it kind of simulates the dry down like an hour later. Well, there was also rubbing. another thing is that, you know, when you're trying to prime the pump, right? So the mm -hmm. very first spray was very, very weak. And then the second spray, like it was about to drip off my wrist. Yeah, they give you a mega um, the, 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 But Yeah, I, 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 I always rub my wrist. So I, I know that Marco has told me that Omar taught us not to do that before. Yeah. I just didn't remember. Well, you, lo you lose the scent kind of when you do that, but it does simulate what the dry down would smell like like an hour or two later. So, I mean, I, I get it. You apply a little heat to it by rubbing oh, that it. That is so nice. Good, right? I love that one. I really do. You're an un like, this is, I, I can't imagine a situation this wouldn't work. It's definitely like take your boyfriend home to mom like fragrance yeah like the dad won't want to slap you around right he'll be like all right this, guy, <laughs> this guy's all right he's probably not just trying to bang you. he's probably trying to so and jj this is one that jj helped me pick out um because i was looking for uh pure havan yeah um, this is how i described it years this is how i described it when i first got that one it's everything pure havan should have been or could have been like it's it's the better Version obviously it's a, a much higher price point and you know much more natural better ingredients but um, yeah I'm a big fan of it I think it's great 
I never really loved Pure Havan that much. Oh, here's Omar. His meter went off. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Here we go. Putting your wrist together is for women and fragrance noobs. <laughs> <laughs> the fragrance <laughs> wars. As either. Fragrance <laughs> snobs. Here we go. See, I Actually, remember distinctly because uh, Omar had mentioned it, and then, yeah. So there's so many from Zerchoff I've been looking at. I want to get samples of because I don't have like anything. It's so hard to find like anything. Even in Philly, there's not really like a Zerja like a outlet that sells Zerchoff uh, cologne. You, I think in the states we you get it at Saks and even Marcus. Right. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's the issue. Summertime Neo is really good from. Uh... Yeah. And there's also Renaissance. I don't know if you smelled that either, JJ. I want to get. I I get I'm not familiar with that one though. Another one I smelled, I didn't buy, but I really was surprised I liked it as much as I did. Was Tom Ford Lost Cherry? Really, I've never tried that one. It was it really. It's a very very nice, pleasant unisex fragrance. Interesting. So the one thing I heard was Tom Ford is like diluting a lot of their fragrances. It's not as good as it was like a few years ago. So maybe like the newer, if, if that's a newer fragrance, I, I'm not. It's a newer sure. limited run. Um, right. But yeah, the, I've heard the same thing. Now to be, I have not kept the Tom Ford of my staple for a while, but yes. the last one I got was their uh, para, para, para Jummy. Uh, I have had that twice. Um, and both times it was, and like, years apart both times it was those the it's it lasted all day it was fantastic i didn't experience that alleged dilution but they also had like they had their limited runs like lost cherry and i forget what the other other limited run right now is peach something or what other something peach right um those limited runs if they become a mainstay the mainstay is uh not the full-blown perfume right so it's definitely it's a lower cost it's a hundred dollars cheaper per bottle or even less Right, um, and it is diluted by design, but I don't know. I haven't experienced that myself, but yeah. What, so what if you, you don't like the recommendation? I appreciate. What it. if you don't like the opening, like a Maj Reflection Man? I, I do not like that opening. I don't know what the top note is, but it just it really is not good. Um, so if you you know if you rub that, it eliminates the top note. But are you destroying uh, kind of the yeah. the whole you're, mix? You're of destroying it? the longevity is what you're really destroying. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. I, I would just tough it out. If like tough oh, it I'm, through I'm, it. You, I'm assuming you enjoy the rest of it. Or you I, I do. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. a top note for let's say the first ten minutes. You know, yeah, the initial. Yeah. I, I would just I would just tough it out because you're gonna <laughs> rough, <laughs> yeah rough, rough rough rubbing it in is really really uh. You're gonna affect the longevity. You know, your body like soaks it in and kind of, yeah. Uh, you know, depending on you know, everybody's different. But I don't like my skin. I, what I usually do is I get out of the shower. Oh, I usually do that anyway. But I put um, lotion on when I come out of the shower, and I do around like my neck wherever I'm gonna spray it. And I notice it does last quite a bit longer when I do that. Um, I don't know why, but it helps. So, but my skin, if I put it on dry, it, like drinks up fragrance. You can't smell anything in like 20 minutes. It's gone. I don't know what that is, but it's in his bloodstream. Yes, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really weird. Certain certain smells, certain smells stay. Um, but I, I notice if you put the motion on first, like around the areas you're gonna spray. The, there's a, a lady at, at the Nordstrom and Tampa, Melise, very nice, very nice lady who um who told me cap right that it too she called it crushing the fragrance which i guess is what omar is saying as well mm -hmm. uh and it was because i had gotten three four or five years ago for father's day my wife and my daughter got me blue uh the chanel mm -hmm. um which i find revolting like just offensively revolting and i asked them right um uh what you know what i could do about it and she said you you just you you rub it you know you rub it in uh, that didn't work for the blue de chanel but um mm -hmm. so it's naxos is the brand and jerjoff is the fragrance five dollars super chat from your friend mike and Ali just answered him. What is the name of that Zerjoff? It's i wrote it in the chat also Naxos. wait did i get that right i thought naxos is the brand 
No, Zerzhov is the Zerzhov brand. is the brand in Axos. Okay, yeah, Naxos. So yeah, sorry, I got that backwards. <clears throat> yeah. That's it's, one my first, it's yeah. from my first from that label because I didn't know they existed until I went to go look for P- Pure Van. Um and that came up, and then JJ made the recommendation. I didn't even know the make existed because I've never been. We don't have sacks down here, uh, so I had to go. Uh, I had to go over to Orlando to actually uh, check their lineup, and then I had to order that one online. They didn't even have that one there. So for me, it was a blind buy. I smelled some of the other fragrances; they were good, but for me, it was a blind buy. Yeah, but that's what they're most honestly. That's probably their like most known fragrance because it's their best apparently at right. least that's that's, what that's like their Aventus, so they're late you know yeah mm-hmm. that's their most yeah known. it's well deserved that's really really and then the dry down you haven't even gotten to the dry down yet too yeah. Yeah. I'll you're just gonna start like you've been, you've been having lunch in a european cafe <laughs> you know that's what you pretty much smell like yeah you know the european cafes i have lunch in JJ are much sketchier than the ones you have lunch in. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have beautiful flowers and uh and uh, sweet treats, warm sweet treats. Feel all right. I will say one thing, and I, it, this didn't occur to me. I was trying to figure out what I felt wrong about the bottle. The bottle is substantial, but it's very light. Mm. So I don't think it's glass through and through. I think that's hollowed out. Uh, it could be. Mm. Oh, I, I, I've never really noticed. I, I thought they felt pretty. I think you're used to handling the PDM bo- bottles. Yeah, the parking well. Zimbabwe bottles are like bricks. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, they, they are ridiculous. Yeah, they throw some depleted uranium in there for good. But if you if you have like if you compare it to like a bottle of Creed, I think it's fairly even. Um, yeah, in my opinion. Ari, you look like you're falling asleep from all this fragrance talk, man. Let's oh, I'm good. I'm good. It's it's fine. <laughs> I still believe in my uh, my man musk is the best uh, fragrance possible. Do, do you enjoy the um, fragrance talk or the crypto talk more? Oh, I enjoy fragrance talk a thousand times more than crypto talk. <laughs> like uh, screw all of you thousand. crypto, screw all wow. of you crypto bros. McDonald's is hiring. That's all I'm saying. Oh <laughs> Jesus! So, and guys, just for the record, I didn't call the very bottom, and I'm not saying I called the permanent bottom, but I did say I was going to start buying under eighteen five, and what it hit seventeen nine. And yep. then it shot right back up to twenty one. So, yeah, oh yeah, I'm not saying this guy made some money this weekend, but you know, <laughs> well, good for you. Good um, for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm... Yeah, I, I didn't buy much because honestly, I thought it was going to sink more. But I, I just get every five hundred to drop. I just kept buying in. I was hoping it would go lower. Black Afghano, isn't that like powerful stuff? What is that? Uh oh, not some more. Yeah, black Afghano is like that. It's like uh, like a small, like it's a very tall bottle with a like black concentrated juice. It has a big cap, not some Yeah, model. it's like Pardon, one, one really will, will choke a room. I've never tried any of them, but I heard Pardon is really good. Um, they're, they're uh, you know, that's not something I really want to blind buy. I like to go. I usually just get them on eBay. If they, you know, I, I just get a bunch of samples. I mean, even you're gonna get a fake sample. I, you know what I mean? It's only yeah. like. Eight bucks, so who cares? You know what I mean. But um, the only thing is, it, it sucks if you get a fake one, then you don't really get to smell, um, you know, the true the true scent. But I just I like to buy the little samples on eBay and try them. That's where I uh, all. I actually, I'm gonna Marco next time when you come in. I'm gonna. Uh, I got the uh, bottle of bergamot and oud. I'm gonna give it to you. I don't know. I just sometimes I like it. Sometimes I just can't like it. So which one, Joe Malone? Yeah, the one that you okay. Said yeah, let me know how much to pay you. I'll I will uh, PayPal you. Wait a minute. It's my treat. It'll be your welcome. Do you I was gonna welcome. actually order a sample of it. I have it open in a separate tab because I wanted sure. to. I've never like spent like time with it. I only like smelled it in a store and I liked it. So I don't know. Should I charge him and teach him how to take gr- gifts gracefully or what? What do you think? Or should I just let him have? It? Just take it. I'm giving it to you. Yeah, okay. I appreciate. If you're gonna that. deliver a person, you can let him have it some other way. Smile and say thank you. <sighs> You know, no. that's all. <laughs> I got a, dent of a little a I actually dent got of a, a bottle in his face. Marco's has slowly been accumulating a little box of goodies. It's like the Marco box. I'm like, yeah, when I see him, I'm gonna give him this. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. longer it takes for me to go, the more the more items are popping in that box. I should go through it beforehand and just take some out, right? Like, I gotta right, make you know, a fragrance shelf like JJ. Actually, that's I do five have from JJ shelf. himself. I did make a shelf. fragrance <laughs> shelf to be fair. By the way, have you guys seen? Speaking of shelves, my newest acquisition. I mentioned- just noticed. I just noticed that there. I got Baby beautiful. Yoda up there. I got in the middle. There we go. In the middle, I got a new Scrooge. Oh, that, looks- the Beast Kingdom. Oh, that looks great. 
Yeah. I like those actually, Scrooge McDuck. Marco, Maybe can you pull the Scrooge up for me? I would love to show people what this actually is because it looks so cool. Yeah, what does it look like? You guys never see it? Type in um, Scrooge McDuck Beast Kingdom. I think Beast Kingdom is the company that makes this one. It's like 16 inches tall, I believe. Um, this is like a really cool one. I bought actually two of them. I have another one in storage because uh, I really like it. It's like black and brass or something. What up, JJ? Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, that's the sign. Actually, one. this is pretty sick, to be honest. Yeah, it's, it's it's really awesome in person. It sucks that you guys can't see. And you got you got the one in full brass. Yeah, it's brass and black. They also yeah, last year they made the the regular one. If you see that regular colored one, oh, yeah. this one this year's version. This is really nice. I like this much nice. It's much. Yeah, nice. very nice. That's that's yeah. yeah, very cool. Oh damn it! I'm gonna have to. I might have to rip something off of JJ here. It's awesome. I, I would I would highly recommend. I have this this one, and I have a small Lennox one that Lennox made for Disney. It's like white and gold. That's another cool one, but that one's like really small. It's only like seven inches. How do you um, spell Lennox? L e n o x. Or oh, I think it's one n. I, I don't know. It might be two n. That one, the white and, and gold. No, no. I don't like it as much. Not that one. The white and gold. Oh, this one here. Yeah. There you go. Eh, not my favorite. I like it, it's one. nice in person. I'm telling you, that's a really cool one. But it's, it's it's small. It's like a little desktop one. This is big. It's sixteen inches tall. It's it's fairly big. That's pretty cool. It, it really is awesome. I just I haven't looked in the longest time because you know I've been collecting these forever, and um this this one's like large. Usually I don't buy them this large, but I wanted to see what came out this year, and this was like the most popular one this year, or the one I like the best, I should say. Anyway, uh, I wanted to buy two of them. I put one down here, and I have another one. So let me ask you: Are these like very collectible, JJ? No, nah, I don't know if they're going to be super collectible. I get them just because I like them, you know. Um, gotcha. Some of the like the really expensive ones are highly collectible. Like a lot of, a lot of businessmen collect like the real like you know the ones made by like the famous uh, artists that actually create this stuff. You know, they go for like three to twenty thousand. Some of those, you know, they're, they're wild. This is like four hundred bucks. It's not that much money. Rangers fan wants to know: Is there going to be a get together in New York City soon? I don't know. That's a good question. We said we were going to do it during the summer. I, I think um, Atlantic City would be the place to do it. We could get guys There's also up. Vegas, no? Aren't we doing Vegas in October sometime? Um, that is uh, Bubba, right? Bubba's setting that up? Yes. So, I don't know what, uh, you know, if you ever... I know the one date he was going, I wasn't going to be around because I have a car show that weekend. But um, I don't know if it was ever moved or anything, but uh, it's possible. I know there's some, a bunch of people going to vegas so i don't know how that's gonna work but i'm down to do one in new york that'd be fun uh we'll see we'll see how it goes trying to put ducktales for new nintendo entertainment system i used to love that game <laughs> yeah it's, it's a good game show. it was a good game yeah. yeah i used to watch that show too it was a little too old for it but my brother used to watch it so i got stuff watching it oh it's a great show i did like can't it, be though. too old can't be too old for, for ducktales no. DuckTales is great. Yeah, yeah, that was fantastic. It's fantastic. Uh, they're having they're having the eternal debate in the chat. I see between Oyster and uh, Jubilee. So, so I'll tell you on a, on the uh, on uh, the Batman. It's it's Oyster for me. Yep. Yeah. That I know. It's you. the Oyster for me. Yeah. I kind of like having the Jubilee on my GMT only because I have the sub with the all flat. Oyster, and I have the Daytona with a half polished, you know, half flat uh, oyster. Yeah. So there's more variety. Kind of each. I have five Rolex left. If you notice, every one mm -hmm. of them has a bracelet, right? A President bracelet, oyster bracelet, the two. Uh, Give the oyster mean, flex. Oyster flex. That's what I meant. Oyster flex. President bracelet. The two oyster bracelets. One is polished on the link. One's all flat. Yeah. And then Jubilee. So. Variety, spice of life, gentlemen. You know, oh, but the one on. oyster bracelet that's Ooh, let's have see a good one. Is he writing, boys, gotta go see it. Jason, thank you for joining us. Let's oh, get a look. Love at what it. Going on there. Look at that. I, I love this. Cool. This is that's really great. great. You started with nothing. And oh, that's yeah. awesome. Look at that. That's Super nice. like the photo right, put up. He just needs coconuts and it's complete. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah, he's launching it from half court. Yeah. And uh, that's it. I think we're going to get ready to wrap this show up unless anybody else wants to talk about any other uh, any other things. Anyone else got anything in mind before we go? 
No? All right, cool. I'm going to drop the link. If anyone wants to come hang out backstage, we're going to be hanging out for a while. If anyone wants to come chit-chat with us, greatly appreciated. Guys, thank you for hanging with us tonight. If you don't mind, please hit an upvote on the way out. Also, guys, when the video is over, if you could do me a favor, go down to the comment section and just write if you have any ideas you want to see for any of the upcoming shows. Um, I'd love to get your thoughts. And tell me what you think of the show. Um, if you could take a few a few seconds to uh, just write a quick comment after we're done. And I always respond to all the comments. So thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. And that brings us to another finished episode of the Gentleman's Hangout. Thank you very much for joining us, guys. And we are out.